we did a thing, guys. Always doing a thing. Uh, my computer was about to explode, whoa, so... Um, whoa, sounds like your fucking insides are exploding. Sponsored by Coke Zero. I'm a changed man. Of course it is. Of course it is. No, it's not Diet Coke. It's Coke Zero. Same, whatever, man. It's whatever. different. We're, we're, we're better now. We're better for it now. What's up, everybody in the chat? Thank you guys for dealing with us not having shit, you know? Going right. Um, appreciate you guys. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, this is episode... Dr. Pepper, or or Dr. Pepper is just barbecue soda. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, but um, yeah, I thank couldn't. you. <laughs> thank you for the sub, Brett Rob, to the channel with Amazon Prime. If you have an Amazon hey. Prime subscription, you can link it to your Twitch account, and then you can subscribe for free every single month to the Save Before Quitting channel. You can yeah. do that. Thank you so much. Um, Ant also mm -hmm. subscribed. What's, what's up with that? What's up with that? Yeah, yo? I mean, I heard the show was good. I feel like I had to subscribe to it. You know. Damn you. We also got a follower um, about 16 hours ago that I wanted to say thank you to because obviously we weren't live 16 hours ago, so they just hopped in and followed. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to replay the uh, alert for it so you all can see the name of this new NGP. That is a Donk Burger. Thank you, Donk Burger, for, for following. Burger. That is. Appreciate you, whoever you may be. But um, know if that is Angus beef or sausage. It's wagyu. There you go. I've never had that. Is that good? I don't. I don't think I'm fancy enough to have had it either. Yeah. You know they got it at Arby's now. They got wagyu beef at Arby's. <laughs> Arby's. We have wagyu. Ah! I hate how every single time the alert happens, I hear it and you don't. Because it just yeah, jump I scares hear. me. I, I see everything. I just don't hear any of it. Where the fuck is the... There's a way to turn the fucking volume down, and I need to do it, because it just jump scares me. We all know that I'm not good with that. But thank you, uh, Javaref. Uh, you gifted a sub to uh, Faux Paws. Very much thank you. Very much. That's very before much. Hype train. And now we have a hype train going, whatever that means on Twitch. Come so on. if you this sub, gift... Train. Come on, ride the train. All right. All right. I don't know what this well, means. The show should just end there. Yeah, right. <laughs> but um, apparently if you sub gift or use bits, we get to the next level. Whatever the fuck that means. Bits. <laughs> I don't know if that did anything. Bits. I don't, I, I don't know. the words. I don't know what any of this Twitch stuff means. We're here to just talk. Uh, we got some news to talk about today. Um, there's been a lot of news that Ant's extremely hype about himself. We all know Me? that he's in love with... Uh, the Star Wars. So, oh, of course. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. As That's you can right. see from that reaction. Right, but, right. I mean, I was so excited for previous days when it was all getting announced that yeah. I was, I'm overloaded with excitement. So yeah, it comes yeah, yeah. off as being calm. Yeah. And we'll get into all of it. Because that's how it works. That's science. Hell yeah. Science, bitch. Um, <laughs> that's that's science, bitch. But uh, <laughs> there's a lot to talk about from Star Wars Celebration that's going on in LA right now. Um, mm -hmm. That would be a really fun convention to go to as, like, the podcast, because we wouldn't be long, really. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I would just be, like, drooling the whole time, most mm -hmm. likely losing blood to a certain part of my body, and then mm -hmm. you would just be there, like, why is that dude green? Like, th th <laughs> like <laughs> that would be our whole entire day. Uh, but that would be so much fun. I, I would be so hype with everybody, and then I would ask such a like low level question that that's common knowledge that even i would know yeah just to outrage everyone around me i, I feel you man. i feel it's one of those things where i, I want to go to it one day but i'm also in the mindset of like where the location is i mm -hmm. don't because la is hot yes and i don't like that weather and so are you well this just became a different podcast. Subscribe on the Patreon right. for five dollars. <laughs> um, if you aren't already, go do that because we talk about stuff like that. Ironically, that's what the podcast on Patreon has pretty much become. Sadly, or it's maybe not sadly. The dark, I don't know. Nasty pod. Yeah, pretty much. But um, someone watched Thursday's Attack of the Show. I watched bits and pieces of it, Frankie. They did um, like they do this thing where they retell like the lore of something in like it's I think it's called TLDR theater. So, like, you know, too long didn't read theater. Um, 
and they did one for Attack uh, Attack on Titan, and then they also did one for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But then last week they did Star Wars, and mm-hmm. it was very good. Austin Creed played Anakin Skywalker, and the whole time he's just like walking around with like this weird blonde wig. He's like, hey, 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 baby, I'm Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, baby. That's what he says. <laughs> yeah, it was good. There was he was. Phrase. I mean, it kind of is. It kind of is. But um, it, it was it was a good mm-hmm. it was a good time to say the least. But yeah, we got some Star Wars to talk about this week, so we'll see uh, yes. how much you're in in the know about. I know you at least know about one of the things. You know, one mm-hmm. of the things you're at least like at knowledgeable about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll get into that. Um, we'll talk about some of that stuff. Do we have any other like exciting news stories to talk about? Um, kind of the news is. It's not slow. I just think we're on the precipice. Like, all, a bunch of shit is about to break in June. True. True, true, true. So, even some unannounced stuff. Like, I know Nintendo is still being rumored to have a presentation coming. Mm-hmm. They're saying there's going to be another Sony one, but they don't know if it's going to be now or later in the year. Gotcha. Um, and then, what's it called? Not Is it next week, right? Next week is the thing. Next week is Summer Game Fest. That! We're streaming it! Yes. Live! Here! Twitch! Be there! Square! That was perfect. Don't change a thing. What you just did was great. Sponsored by Coke Zero. I don't. I mean, that'd be nice. If we were That's the podcast title this week already. Look at that. Sponsored by Coke Zero. <laughs> yeah. What That's makes, how we get their attention. Yo, what's the difference between Diet Coke and Coke Zero? Well, you see, Diet School Coke. Mate. Diet Coke is uh, diet. Uh huh. And Coke Zero has uh, zero sugar um so there's that but one can's gray one can's red didn't ask about the color of the can so the diet coke still has sugar in theory probably um in theory said in chat coke zero is zero percent good and diet coke is diet good (laughs) i like that explanation it's pretty accurate but you, know. but you can't, in theory, like, I, I don't want to ask, like, I want to go to the, I would love to go to, like, the cola, the Coca-Cola, like, headquarters, and, like, what's the difference? And they're like, well, theoretically. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't give me a theoretical difference in your product. Well, you see, we wash our hands in this one. That's what that one is. That's why it has that, like, weird diet taste. That's just the soap we use. Well, yeah, I mean, that's y'all's blood. Gross. I'm never drinking Diet Coke again. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's a time. An actual scientific answer in the chat from Yuki. Coke Zero is no calories, and Diet Coke is fake sugar, apparently. That's more specific, I think. So but, then there's still calories in Diet Coke. I I don't know. And Frankie, that's a completely different kind of Coke, and I'm on board with Bush of Teas. Oh, also we had, a, we had a little bit of a call out. Frankie's asking... When are we going to talk about SB4Q versus Haptic on Long Winter? I know it's like it's the it's it's a long time coming, and we yeah, we are coming. going to do it because we talked about it. Yes, I'm uh, ready though. Brett I'm not ready to get shot up. They're like waiting. Brett said. They're waiting. Uh, I think we're all just really waiting on me. <laughs> to, are to we? Be free for a second. I still haven't even bought the thing. To be fair, I guess I have to also do that. Yeah, I mean it's fifteen bucks. We'll we'll get into it soon. We'll we'll convene. We'll have to make a a new group chat on Signal Brett for the uh, the verses to to get that going. But um, yeah, man, it, it should be a good good podcast. Hopefully, if you guys uh, you know, we're gonna have some motherfucking NGPs on at the end. If you guys are a member of our Patreon, you get to come on to the podcast. Um, I know there's at least one to two people that are trying to come on. Um, I already sent them the link. In the Discord, mm-hmm. you can sit in the caller queue, or you can wait until I say to do it. But um, yeah, we'll have you guys on for a bit towards the end. But until yeah. then, this is the part where Future Ant plays the theme music. You guys have already heard it on Twitch. You're not gonna hear it again unless you want to. So mm-hmm. yeah, there's that. I think we're good, right? Roll that audio, Future Ant. Hell yeah, audio from Future Ant. Ready? I'll I'll play the theme song for the Twitch. Game.
Um, stall. Uh, look at me dance. Look at him. And by look at him, I mean now look at him because I definitely just goofed the whole entire visual aspect of the stream. Well, they missed it. There was flares and fireworks got the end. And, and mascots doing backflips. And now he fucked it up. Now it's just me again. They all left. Bye. Right. Yeah, what? Yeah. All right. See you guys next time. Here Sorry, Chris fucked it up. Yeah. All right. They're gone now. It's a lot of smoke in here, all the fireworks. <laughs> what? Now it's on you. I'm just playing the music. Uh, are, we, are we still <laughs> unmuted? <laughs> we are still unmuted, yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's enough of that. All right, welcome back to the Save Before Quitting Podcast. Level up, motherfucking gamers. I think it's me this week, so I'm just going to take that rain. I think, right? Or am I wrong? I think it is you this week, yes. Sweet. So now it's awkward. That's that's our brand. It really is, honestly. Things go wrong, but it's on purpose most times if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. But um, anyway, thank you for joining us for episode 81 of the Save Before Quitting podcast. As always, I'm joined by my lovely co-host. Me. I'm so fucking lovely. I mean, I'm here as well. And his name is Ant. Oh, that also, that's my name. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, I'm Chris, and we're here to talk about games and stuff. Ma- mm-hmm. Mainly just stuff. But I, the games come secondary on this podcast. They do. It's become point. that kind of show. We were so professional in the beginning of yeah. this show when it started. I like the evolution, though, because the evolution has become like more about just like us having a good time also talking about games which i feel like is more entertaining at least from us like if we're just like here like here's what the story is more at seven like that (laughs) it's not bad it's just you know it's not us we're not being genuine you know hey for the people who don't know we we used to have notes we used to type out chris would type out word documents of are we got to talk about this and then we got to pivot into this and it hasn't we haven't done that since like episode four yeah i used to be professional used to i don't and think I, people would respect the show if it was professional honestly that's a good point yeah but um yeah as always you can follow us on our social media if you'd like to you know join us for this lovely uh rocky road that we like to call fucking something i don't know where i was going fucking with something all right you know normally this could get edited out but since we're live we're fucked no now i gotta um, keep it all I know, right? But um, yeah, you can follow us at Save Letter B the number four quitting over on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. The titty. titty. The titty gang. Titty gang, what's titty up? Gang. Titty gang merch in the store on Save Before Quitting Fully Spelled Out dot com. You can pick up a titty gang mug for all your hot or cold beverage needs and a mm-hmm. shirt or tank top. I don't know what I'm pour, doing. Get the mug and pour Coke Zero and Diet Coke in it and break the law. <laughs> Breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> you poured co- Diet Coke and Coke Zero into one mug, like an angel loses his wings or something. Yeah. The only something way to explodes solve it, in the world. You got to solve it with one of the Kardashians in a Pepsi can. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> References. Um, <laughs> but you can also go over to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash save letter be number four quitting. Um, mm-hmm. And that's where you can check out our multiple tiers that we have to offer. We have the regular old you just want to support the boys tier where we get to shout you out at the end of the episode when we remember to do so yes which is an office we got to get better at that we do need to get better at that that's the notes that we do need we need the note (laughs) that is individually shout out the motherfuckers on patreon do Um, it and then we got our five dollar tier in which you get two extra podcasts a month the bonus levels um in which we just talk about whatever the fuck we feel like that day Mm -hmm. um random bullshit um test some candy that's actually heroin and a bunch of other shit and past relationship stories lots of those it's become lots of those (laughs) at this point but um Mm -hmm. yeah you could go check those out for five bucks and then the ten dollar tier the collector's edition is what you'll be seeing today a little bit of where um the ngps can come on at the end of the podcast and join the conversation if they'd like to talk more about a news story that we talked about if they just want to talk about you know random bullshit or even if they have a specific gaming question they can hop on it doesn't have to be anything specific to be fair right that 
it's very much become the point where it's like, oh, question, that's what we have to do. You don't have to. You could just be like, oh, let's talk more about Star Wars, which we don't have yeah. to, but it's fine. And you don't have to talk about anything. You could ask us anything about anything. Yeah. For $5. Anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> moving past all of the shilling and the bullshit that we do here, mm -hmm. and what have you been playing this week? Or watching? I don't think I watched Andor. much this week. The I Star Wars show. Um, huh? I said and or and then the Star Wars. Oh, show. and or guys, <laughs> see what you did there, you Star Wars, you clever bitch. Um, <laughs> I played. I'm still just working my way ever so like every so often through uh Kirby on Switch. That's become my like wind down. Even like I'll throw up, I'll, I'll watch something on TV and just be running through Kirby on my Switch just on the couch. Noise. Um. You still, are you going to 100% that game, do you think, or no? That face already it, told it, the it's story. A, it's one of those games where, like, I kind of, like, as I'm playing through it, I'm trying to get everything at once. Mm -hmm. But then the more I go through it, the more I'm just like, I want to end this game. I want to get to the end and be like, okay, that, that, it's a check mark. Done. Check mark, get to something else that is on the list. Yeah, the long, long list. My list is toilet paper at this point. It's just rolls of games I have not finished or started. I feel that. Uh, what else? I don't think I played anything else. I, um, this week was kind of busy for me mm -hmm. with life shit. So I've been kind of, um, you know, handling that. Playing the game of life. Playing the game of life. Sometimes that's all you can do, you know, and that's fine. Yeah. But you get a little bit of that, that Kirby suck action at the end, you know. I mean, that's all we can ask for at the end of a hard day of life, right? Yeah. A little Kirby suck action. Podcast Even though title. your whole bottom half might get sucked off. But... Jesus Christ. Then uh, what does Kirby become? If he sucks your whole bottom half off, what does Kirby become? He just becomes like a, a consistent cartwheel because he's got legs and then legs. So he just keeps like cartwheeling. <laughs> but, if he's a cart, if that's the case. If you're a male, anyway, that means there's just a dick on his forehead. Probably. Jorts, f out of here. <laughs> Jeans that in was the chat. Good. Um, <laughs> a CVS receipt, if you may. Jorts. Pretty much. He becomes a dick figuratively, just a huge <laughs> asshole. There, he's a dick like figure. A, the dick figure. Yeah. You ever seen what was that one show? Fuck, I think it was called like Preacher or something. It's like based on a comic or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a character that in that show that just has like a his face is just an asshole. I do not know of yeah. this show. Like, like he's it's literally just like a hole in his. I don't know why or what for, but like it's it's like a very like, I think like heaven and hell type show, like mm -hmm. comicy bullshit. And then there's a a character with a butt face, <laughs> but it's just the sphincter. Poor guy, or maybe not. You never know. I mean, he likes it that way. I mean, that's where the G-Spot's located. This is a Patreon podcast now. I mean, is it? I don't even know if we've been there on Patreon. <laughs> we don't know. Face penetrated. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, you, you put it. You I put did. It's my the rim, fault. And I just tipped it in. Rim. Anyway, moving <laughs> forward. <laughs> so as far as, uh, I'm going to start with things I've watched this week, and then I'll go into things I've played, because it gets not that good. Um, okay. So things I've watched this week, obviously, there are two shows that came out this week. One was Obi-Wan Kenobi over on the Disney+. Plus. You got two episodes out from there. And then Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. um, needless to say, one of them I'm just kind of slogging through, which is the one that released all of their episodes. Stranger Things is okay. I don't think Stranger Things has been good, like good, since mm -hmm. season one. Okay. And Damn. Season one? Like, the first season, like, it was different. Like, it was one of those things where, like, when it came out, like, you knew, oh, this is, like, this is going to be something right now. I would love mm. if my dogs would shut the fuck up. No, they watch Stranger Things. They need to They need input. to defend it. But, um. Right. Stranger Things, go. What the fuck are you talking about? Come out here and say that shit to my face. Shut your dogs. <laughs> I don't even know why the fuck she's barking. I don't care. It's not my problem. Anyway, moving forward. <laughs> um. 
But yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where like I, I was telling you before we started the show, and I had to restart my computer. Like I just keep finding myself clicking the fast forward fifteen seconds button over mm-hmm. and over and over because like I don't care about like the ambiance anymore. Like they do a lot of like setting the scene scenes that are just a little bit too long for me to give a fuck. So I'm just like, get past this. Let's go. Let's get to the fucking meat and mm-hmm. potatoes, please. I would like some sort of dialogue or action. And I get to there, and I'm like, okay, cool. Did I miss anything? Like, if I go too far, go back 15 seconds. Oh, no, cool. Back 15 seconds more. And, like, I'll just keep skipping. And I'm right. getting the the gist of it. And, like, they kind of just did the whole reveal. And I just finished it this season. Um, mm-hmm. It's okay. Um, mm-hmm. This Wednesday, they come out with, like, the last two parts or whatever I think it is. Where it's, like, they're two hours long. Like, almost like a movie. Mm-hmm. I'll long watch it. Episodes. Yeah. I mean, they're only, like, maybe 30 to 40, maybe, like, 40 to an hour for the regular episodes, but these are, like, the, the show's over type right. show episodes, so that'll be a thing. Um, Jabberaf in the chat asked, did they have a recap of the show? Um, yeah, on Netflix they did. Like, they have, like, when you go to start up season four, um, it'll do, like, a recap for season three. And it, there's also a trigger warning. Because of some stuff that happens, like, in the very first episode right away in regards to world news of things that have happened recently. Um, which was, I, I appreciated it because it was hard to get through, personally. Right. Um, and then on the other end of the spectrum, ironically, Obi-Wan um, did not have a trigger warning and then started out with Order 66, which I you know what Order 66 is, right? Yeah, of course. So... The show starts with order. Do you actually or no? Hmm? Do you actually or no? Excuse me. What? Order sixty six. Do you know what? Yes. It is? Who doesn't know what that is? Star Wars. So for the people that don't know, yes, let them know. That's pretty much where Emperor Palpatine in the mm-hmm. third movie says, "Yeah, execute, execute Order sixty six, right, and right. then all the clone troopers." that were actually good have like a chip in their brain that mm-hmm. forced them to turn on all the Jedi and murder all the Jedi. Exactly. Yes. We're on the same page now. Genocide. Cool. Right. So obviously, and if you've seen, you know, the third movie, you know, the scene where like master Skywalker, what we gonna do that part. Yeah, and then guy, that guy was dope. It's a child. <laughs> he can still be a guy. Anyway, kids can't be guys. I mean, male kids can't be guys. Anyway, but you know, that scene happens where Anakin goes in and slaughters the younglings. Like, he literally kills a bunch of kids that are training to be Jedis. Mm -hmm. Um, The show starts with Order 66 and with a group of kids in their place of learning with no way to defend themselves. And then two clone troopers come in and just start opening fire on them. Okay, timely. So... In context for Stranger Things, like, theirs wasn't like that. Like, theirs mm-hmm. was, you know, like, kids. Like, a very... But they gave the trigger warning. Star Wars didn't. You would think Star Wars would do that. Yeah. Initially. Unless I missed it or something, and, like, I, I didn't see it, because, like, I, I was watching on my phone off to the side while, you know, working on Excel spreadsheets, because whatever. Um, mm-hmm. Like, there wasn't... They don't show the kids dying in Obi- yeah I know they don't co- show the kids dying but like it's the actual thing happening like they're in their place of learning you know they'd show dead bodies in Stranger Things I understand that but like there's a, there's still you know it's still not good either way you would expect some sort of trigger warning because the situation itself is bad um, mm-hmm. so I didn't like that to be honest with you I think that was kind of a shitty oversight on Disney's part Especially for anyone who just goes in watching that thinking it's going to be, you know, the series about Obi-Wan and him getting hunted and it turns out to be something else. Um, But other than that, the show's been good. No spoilers, obviously, besides like that, because I feel like that has to be talked about. Because if you go in not knowing that, it's a little bit off-putting to start. Yeah, it's going to kill you. Um, But the actual show itself, very good. Phenomenal so far with the first two episodes. Um... There is something that happened at the second episode that I'm not really sure what's why it happened. Um, hopefully it gets resolved in the third episode, because if not, 
I'm gonna be mad. Um, <laughs> but that's I'm as far as being upset. I'm mad. This is bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna be one of those Star Wars fans. You're gonna sound like your dogs out there barking. Honestly, yes. But um, moving forward from that, as far as games I've played, I've been playing a little bit of Rocket League, a little bit of Apex Mobile. Mm -hmm. Apex Mobile, baby. Um, so that game is good, and I hate that it's good on mobile. <laughs> and the reason I say it's good, I don't approve of good games. Well, it's it's a mobile game, like it shouldn't mm -hmm. be good. Um, but I got it on mobile, and I like it because fucking you can play third person. And like, uh, I could see how that would be alluring. It's really interesting to play with the type of like abilities and shit that you have and the guns and like the setups in a third person mm -hmm. setting because it really does change everything compared to the first person version you can still play it in first person if you want to but you can play third person um and it's it's really mm -hmm. fun surprisingly for what it is um it does make your phone overheat quick um i will <laughs> say um but uh other than those i've been All playing hot gaming hot gaming that's what you come here for the hot, hot gaming title <laughs> But uh, Steam Deck, Steam Deck, Steam Deck, Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. If you're a part of our Discord, um, which you can join with the social media link in our bio, just go over there. Just the only rule is don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. If you're new here. Um, but go over there and join. I had a little bit of an experience this morning on my Steam Deck that was not great. Um, so I made the decision to buy Elden Ring. You did. Um, it was on CD keys. If you know the website and you're familiar, I could get it for 20 bucks off for PC version. So I was like that. I'm fine. I can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, so I picked that up and I let it download overnight and I turned it on this morning. I played it for maybe about two minutes, created my character, hopped in Beat and the then, game hundred percent. Two nope. minutes. Um, the way that the game works is you, I think you die immediately. I think it's on purpose. Like you could probably defeat the boss if you have prior from, from software knowledge, but I don't cause this I would be the point I would love to see in the chat. The people who have played it like, no, no, I, that didn't happen to me. I mean, like, no one died. A there. cinematic <laughs> happens. So like, you know, it's one of those forced death things and then it takes you to the mm -hmm. tutorial room. So I did the tutorial. Um, did you die to the random soldier in the cave? No, I died to the big boss outside. Yeah, the, the boss you're supposed to die to. So, so. It's always funny when we do this because I'm like referring to chat, but then the audio amigos that listen to this later, they don't have the visual of the chat, so it's very True. funny. I should have put the stream avatars on. Fuck. But, um, nope. oh, well. I'll never recover. <laughs> never. But never. Um, I played that. I did the the first like tutorial boss, I guess you would say, um, and I beat him. And then as I go out, it's like, hey, this is the map button. So I click it, and mm -hmm. it freezes completely. Right. Like, you know, um, the map is too much for the Steam Deck. I mean, I mean, it will be at some point, most likely. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so I hit the button, completely fucking freezes. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me right now. And with the Steam Deck, I've been having issues with games freezing in general. But normally, I can hit the Steam button and force close the game couldn't so then i'm like well what the fuck do i do so i'm like okay i'll hold the power button to turn it off i do that mm -hmm. i give it like 30 seconds like you're supposed to do when you turn a like system off like that hit the button it don't make a noise it's What's not turning on? on not turning on so uh mm -hmm. i have a ticket in with steam support so that's the thing yeah, your Steam Deck, like Brett said, I'm I'm like, man, I'm worried about my Steam Deck now when it comes yeah. in. Um, the annoying part is I've gone on multiple Reddits and multiple fucking forums and shit, and it's literally a 50-50 shot with your Steam Deck. It's either you have a perfect working Steam Deck that's great, or you have nothing but problems. Um, it's really weird. It's really fucking weird, to say the least. Mm -hmm. um, I, I got it to turn them back on like maybe an hour ago because I just mm -hmm. plugged it in and let it sit for a little bit. And I played like 30, 40 minutes of Rocket League. Like I played no issues, no hiccups, mm -hmm. nothing. And I'm like, 
what the fuck? Like, make a decision if you want to work or not. Yeah, what do you want to do? Who yeah. do you want to be? So I, I just submitted a ticket to Steam Support. They're apparently really good with getting back to you. Um, apparently, there's sometimes you have to re-image the device, which pretty much uninstalls everything, and you have to restart from the beginning. I don't want to do that, but at the mm-hmm. same time, I'll do that first, and then if that doesn't work, then you have to ship it back to Steam, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So What did you... What was... Oh, you just put in a ticket, so yeah. you didn't get to type out exactly what No, you, I did. Yeah, I typed it. I was like, games keep freezing randomly after 10 to 15 minutes of play. Um, mm-hmm. It randomly happens. Normally is able to be forced quit through the Steam button, but sometimes has to be fully powered down. No consistency with performance. So, Damn. Yeah. We're going to hit you back and be like, let's turn your Steam deck into a dream deck. Pimp my Steam Deck. I just said, <laughs> early 2000s game show yeah. music starts playing. We gave your Steam Deck a fidget spinner. Like, <laughs> like, fucking kill me. We opened the battery pack on the Steam Deck and put a bowling alley in it. Hell a chandelier. yeah. Chandelier. And now when you hit the back trigger buttons, it's a mayonnaise dispenser. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, just don't get the mayonnaise in the Steam Deck. Like you put it in Even there. though it already is in there. Oh, well, it's already broken. Sorry, that voids the warranty. <laughs> Goodbye. Credits roll. Um, MTV will not be held responsible for broken Steam Decks. Or Mayo related incidents. Yeah. <laughs> Mayo related incidents. Yeah. But um, needless to say, I'm not having a great time with the Steam Deck. Um, I mm-hmm. want to be. All that Mayo. Oh, too much. But um, Sorry, I'm gone. The, the little bit that I did play of Elden Ring, it's cool, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. It's fine so far. There's like, the, I, it's a Dark Souls thing, and like in like a From thing, where like there's all these like little like notes around the map, like little like shiny things on the ground that you can read from previous players who have like left messages, and it right. really takes me out of the game. <laughs> like, I'm trying to be like, okay, let me actually give this a shot and give a shit about what this game is, like it being the one from software game that I'll actually give a chance. And then mm-hmm. I get like messages like poo poo pee pee on the ground. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? What That's the fuck? That's a clue. God damn it. And then like, there'll be like some Follow shit. Poo poo pee pee to the next boss. Dude, I went to the, this one area and there's like a dude up top, like on this ravine that you don't see right away. And I hit mm-hmm. the thing to read it. And the guys, and it says like, be careful and en- for enemy above. And I'm like, Oh, okay. And I look up, as I look up, headshot with a fucking arrow. And I'm just running around with a fucking arrow like a unicorn, like, trying to maneuver through the tutorial. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this bullshit? Hey, man. So. Did the, <laughs> you probably would have been better off not reading the warning. <laughs> I know. The that's the worst part. <laughs> but fucking, like, what the fuck, man? But it, it's okay so far. I mean. I would just really like for the Steam Deck to work, to say the least. Um, I've been playing Arkham City as mm-hmm. well on it. That's been surprisingly running well. I do have to jump through hoops to get through it. I have to launch it in desktop mode as opposed to the regular mode because in the gaming mode, it doesn't launch. Didn't you say that's one of the ones that was like great on deck or something like that? Yeah, it's it's literally listed as great on deck. So you would think it works. No. And then you have to go to the fucking desktop mode. But... um. When it, and I'll address this in the chat. There's a lot in the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> Elden Ring broke your Steam Deck. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Um, do you like the Steam Deck when it works, or is it just okay? I love the Steam Deck when it works. I will go on record saying that. That's why I'm so mad that I had to mm-hmm. put the Steam support ticket in. Because, like, I love the way that it feels. It's comfortable. The visuals are great on it, and it runs beautifully when it does right but that's like it's like it's a 50 50 shot and it's not even like there's no consistency in which where it does or doesn't work and that's my main issue i would say like if it just worked 20 percent of the time we'd have an issue there but the fact that it's random like it'll just be like oh no you're not playing games today like that's where i get to the point where i'm like kill me please <laughs> um i mean you're playing Elden Ring, so that'll happen. Yeah, uh, true. <laughs> Fucking a. But um, yeah. I mean, it's been okay so far. Um, Elden Ring with the twenty minutes that I was allowed to play by my Steam Deck. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, I've been 
I don't think I've been playing much else. I did play some board games yesterday, like Javaraf said in the chat. I don't hey. remember any of the names of them because I'm not good at names. Um, one was like this one where you build like an ecosystem of animals, and like you have to connect them with like these hexagonal like tiles, and mm -hmm. at the very end you um like tally up your points regarding like you know whatever. Like, if you have two pairs of bears, then that's, like, X amount of points. If you have a of stream of fish, that's X amount of points or whatever. Um, there was Fire Tower. That was a really cool one where there's a fire in the center. And then whatever mm -hmm. way the wind blows, there's four people on each corner. Um, the fire keeps spreading. And wh whose ever tower goes down first, they, they, you know, they lose. Makes sense. And you play, like, cards with it. Like, oh, I play four fire things next to one that already exists. And that was fun. And then uh, the last one was Mysterium, I think. Um, and Mysterium. I like that name. What's the game called? It's kind of like like a whodunit type thing. You work together collaboratively. Like collaboratively. Clue. Yeah, like Clue. Like Clue. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, you start at the beginning, and, like, you get dealt cards by, like, the almost DM, I guess. And, like, they're trying to, like, tell you who your killer is relating to, like, the person, place, and thing. And then at okay. the very end, to, like, have a winner, one person will, like, be the killer. So they'll give, like, another clue. And based on that clue, everybody in the group votes on who they think the actual killer is. And then that person wins if, you know, nobody... I assume if nobody picks them, that person wins. But then mm -hmm. if people choose them, then they win. So, you know, that... It was fun. It was fun. It was, it was a librarian in the kitchen with the Coke Zero. Yes, yes, that that's pretty much <laughs> what it was. No, you're no, you're exactly <laughs> right. Um, that you win, but um, yeah, it was fun. It was a good time, and I also watched Matilda, which is pretty much just Stranger Things, but without the trauma and more Danny DeVito. I know he had, she had trauma. Her parents were shitty. Yeah, but she handled it well. Yeah, once she became like aware of her abilities, I guess. But like in Stranger Things, when Eleven is fed trauma she just keeps getting fed trauma she doesn't well, get to use her abilities until she's free it's, matilda she could have been doing way worse shit i'm surprised she didn't she wasn't so traumatized that she's just making knives fly into her parents or some shit yeah another thing that was weird with matilda me and i think it's just a product of the time and because you know it's a movie um mm -hmm. the fucking the adult characters in this movie are just so outlandish no matter yeah. who they are. Like, mm -hmm. the father and the mother, obviously terrible, but, like, to the nth degree. Then you get mm -hmm. to the principal, uh, whatever the fuck her name was. The Trunchbull. Trunchbull. So, too much for me, personally. I was like, <laughs> you're literally almost murdering child. Like, it, it's getting to a point of weirdness to me. She made a kid eat an entire chocolate cake, and then when he did yeah. it, she broke the glass over his head. Yeah. And, that like, kid should be unconscious and bloody. And she's, like, throwing Man, people in, sorry, like, a, timely like, to like say that. spikes into a, what's it called? What, what, what the fuck was the thing called? The room? The, the choke? Oh, the chokey. Yeah, that thing. That was, like, come on. And, like, it, it's a product of its time. It's fine. It's the same thing with American Pie. You can't go watch that shit today and be like, oh, yeah, this is all okay, you know? But um, she, I, my, my takeaway from that movie always when I watch it is the end where everything happens and then she goes to her teacher and is like, you can adopt me, Miss Honey. You can just adopt me. If, yeah. I, was Miss, if I was their teacher, I'd be like, whoa. That was <laughs> I also. I'd help. I don't know how I felt about how quickly Miss Honey was just like, I'm in love with this child now as my own. Exactly. Like, today, that's weird, you know? Like, and I was like, this is just, Miss Honey, you're moving too fast. Like, listen, you're a very beautiful lady and all, and you're very <laughs> nice, and you're obviously, like, the, you know, the best character in this movie besides the main one. You're moving too fast in this situation to just adopt a girl that you've been teaching for maybe... She Up would, until spring break. You at know? that point, Matilda would freak me out because she's brilliant the whole um, the whole movie. Yeah. And then it gets to that point, and she's like, I've had adoption papers in my backpack my whole life. Like, what the fuck? What? Just looking I'm for someone. I'm like, chill. Yeah. I like not having a kid. <laughs> and you're a lot. 
God damn. But she has powers and she just makes money off Matilda at that point. But yeah. And now I'm being ridiculed because I have a mail order child on the way. Listen, listen. And I, I meant to pitch this to you. I have a real one on the way. Yeah, but that was my I have a pitch for you. I have a pitch. And we'll we'll, we'll talk about this at a later date off camera, but I'm just gonna put this idea in your head for future. Okay. So don't adopt me. When you have your baby coming soon, well, when, when Adrian does, you, you're not going to be doing much besides standing there. Um, hey, listen. That's, what are you going to do? I, I may not be able to, like, do yeah. something physically to her while she's – but I have to be there. Yeah, being I know. While you're being there, while you're being there, and then afterwards, you know, when we go to record the next podcast and, you know, you guys are comfortable with it, if you are. If you have your new baby, hands when that kid gets here. you have your new baby in, in your arms, right? On the couch. That's the start mm-hmm. of the episode. And then I have my baby in my arms. My $300 baby. Oh, what you say? Okay. You're like, we're fathers. And then that's just the start of the episode. And then we'll, we'll, yeah, that's it. That's all we need. <laughs> that would be funny as shit. It's funny. We'll, we'll talk about it at a later date. I'm just putting the idea in your head because I thought of it. And it's... You know what the punchline is to that gag, though? Mine is a one time payment. It... Yes. But you just start out like, you look at me and say, Yeah, my kid cost me $300. How about you? And then the show should just start. I shouldn't even yeah. answer the question. Yeah, man. <laughs> it cost me more than you know. And oh, counting. God damn. All right. Well, yeah, that, that's that's what uh, I've been playing and watching. So, hell yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I like how we tied that uh, tied that whole conversation. I up. know, right? Started with Star Wars, ended with kids. And now we're going to get back into Star Wars. Let's do it. My favorite subject. Subject. Yeah. subject. Um, so the news. This news is brought to you by us. Go to our merch store. Buy our merch, please. Yep. It's good and comfy. And it's wearing it. <laughs> that's the tagline that's before q merch it's good and comfy and ant wearing it i mean that's not bad could do that hey. that could be it <laughs> long ass tagline <laughs> but yeah um so i guess we'll start with the gaming specifically i did frankie you're right i did admit do the safe deposit twice jesus christ Got to file that paperwork, man. Nah, um, paper, well, paperwork's not done, but <laughs> I'm not depositing. Kids are done. Kids are finished. This episode just has to be titled Kids. Kids, half a dozen. Nah. Get into the news, Chris. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Get us out of here. <laughs> Get us out. Um. But no, the news for this week, Star Wars Celebration in Los Angeles. You know, we've had a bunch of small um, announcements and whatnot. Uh, Mm -hmm. Personally, I have a lot of stuff that I'm caring about in the collectibles department. There's a lot of new figures announced and whatnot. But the main thing that was announced for us is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order's sequel, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Survivor. They released a very, 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 very short, in my opinion, for how uh, long we waited, uh, cinematic trailer in which we got to see Cal uh, mm-hmm. in the future. The ship that they were on looks like it's a little bit destroyed or taken down. Um, we did see, I forget the name of the species, but um, it's the same species as the Grand Inquisitor who's in the Obi-Wan show. It's not the Grand Inquisitor. That is something mm-hmm. that I definitely had to do research on because I'm very confused on how that would be the case. But um, it's not. It's just one of the same species. Um, and I don't know if that's the person who's wielding the red lightsaber mm-hmm. in the trailer. I don't think so. I think it might be someone different hunting uh, after Cal after Jedi Fallen Order ended the way it did. But yeah. Yes. What are your initial thoughts on the trailer? The trailer is beautiful. Yeah. First and foremost. Oh, yeah. Um. I, uh. I enjoyed the trailer. If that makes sense. I know you from me that like makes sense. Did. <laughs> I did. I, I did. Maybe I'm... did. No, 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 no. I, I did. Obviously, you knowing more about what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Than I do. I feel you. But I enjoyed it. Um, along with that news, I was very happy to see that it's only on next gen. I'm like, thank goodness. I'm um, very happy about that. PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Mm-hmm. Um, which I think at this point going forward. They should be. I'm sure God of War. We'll get to that too. 
is gonna. I think they said that's still gonna be PS4 and PS5. I really think they just gotta say fuck you to PS4, but we'll, we'll get into that. But yeah, but lately they've been doing that though with um Gotham Knights, like we talked about. Yeah, when they put in the last trailer out, they were like they they originally planned to have it on previous consoles, but they're not doing that now. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm starting to feel like we might start seeing more of that. Yeah, like yeah, this was on previous generations, but nah, never mind. Yeah. Uh, well, but this the trailer looks amazing, looks great. Mm-hmm. Made me want to play it, even though I never made it to the end of the first one. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I've beaten it twice so far. I might have to go back and play it a third time just because I haven't in a while. But uh, mm-hmm. it's a good story. It's a good. I like the way it ends, but I also don't. That, mm-hmm. I don't know if that makes sense without spoiling it. It's just very much one of those things where, like, you get to the end and you're like, oh, cool, now what are we going to do? And, like, if they wanted to, they didn't need to make a sequel mm-hmm. the way that they ended it. But, um... From what you told me the ending was, I completely get that. Yeah. So, but we'll see. We'll see what this game is. Um, who's hunting Cal down? What's up with the, the team that he was with? Uh, that one mm-hmm. chick and uh, the, the pilot and then one character who you didn't meet yet because we didn't get that far in the gameplay, but uh, there's a uh, Dathomir witch that joins up with them about three-fourths through the game, I believe. So we'll see what happens and where they are, hopefully Mm -hmm. soon. Maybe, do you think we maybe get something more at Summer Games Fest from there? Or do you think that this trailer is just going to be all we're going to get for a while? Um, I don't think we're going to get more. I could see them revisiting it and maybe you get a behind the scenes talk about it or you maybe extended trailer, but I don't think you get more of mm-hmm. what's coming from that game just yet. Seeing if if they didn't play this trailer just like they did a couple days ago now, I think it would have been at Summer Games Fest. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So at the very least, I think they might replay it. You might see it again or something like that. Hell yeah. I'd like to see it again through them and then maybe it'd be, it'd be cool to hear from the actor as well whatever his name mm-hmm. is cameron monta whatever monta i don't know i don't even know his name. it's it starts <laughs> with an m but um yeah it'd be cool to see i also i want to see him in some sort of live action pro like project soon i don't know which one it would be per se but I like they keep reading that they're kind of gearing up for that aren't they i don't know just because especially with the game coming out like the fact that the game is like on its way in mm-hmm. theory like you know we don't need to see like him in live action at all for a while you know yeah i don't think it'll be immediately but yeah. i think that's the direction they're headed i hope so i hope so very much but we'll see um mm-hmm. other than that tv series announced um Andor is one of them um i don't know how i feel about it because if you saw rogue one Mm-hmm. You know that character uh, bleh, in that movie, so this is a prequel to that. So, why? No offense, but why? Um, other than that, I'm not super excited for it, but I'll still watch it. Um, Ahsoka, right. the show with Rosario Dawson, first look happened, and they teased Star Wars Rebels characters Ezra, Sabine, Hera, and Chopper. And now that means nothing to Ant. But for me, who has a shelf right there with all of those characters lined up on it by themselves, specifically Mm -hmm. because Star Wars Rebels is my favorite Star Wars. Yeah, Rebels, yo. Fire. What? Name one of the characters that I just said. You just named them. Yeah, name them. Name one. Why do I got to reiterate them? Because you don't know any of them. Ahsoka. That's the show's name, not that character. What are the characters Listen, that were teased from Rebels? Because to be I'm in reiterating the show. I want people to get excited for the show. If uh, I say yeah. all the characters and they have nothing to look forward to, let's just get to the show. True. But it just... It, it, it is true. The show itself, I'm excited for because I love Ahsoka. She's one of my favorite characters in Star Wars when it comes to Jedi or not Jedi. Because um, she's technically not a Jedi if you watch Rebels. Hmm, yeah. But um, you know, it's it's I'm I'm excited for the show because uh, it's going to continue from what Rebels was. Because once uh, Ahsoka came into season two of Mandalorian, everyone's like, okay, cool, this is post Rebels, and then what mm-hmm. happens in her series, which I will not say if nobody's watched it yet. 
um, leads into Rebel storyline immediately. So her show will most likely focus in that post Rebels era and mm-hmm. give us a bit of Star Wars that we haven't seen yet, which I'm excited for. So yeah. Um, other than it's not that, to be excited for. Yeah. Um, there was another show announced called Skeleton Crew with Jude Law. Um, it will follow a group of 10, 10 year old kids from a small planet who will get lost in a galaxy far, far away and must try to find their way home. It takes place after Return of the Jedi and will fit in with the timeline of Mando and Ahsoka. Uh, season three of Mando was also announced coming 2023 in February, which I can't yeah, that's wait. Dope news. Um, that's dope as shit. There was a screenshot shown of Mando and Bo Katan. Um, kind of facing off after we left in season two where Mando has the dark saber, so he technically is the rightful ruler of the Mandalore. But uh we'll see what happens there. And then there's a little bit of news on Obi Wan, you know, a lot of talks while it's happening and whatnot. What else happened? Oh, yeah, there's also a animated series coming called Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Um, an animated series featuring Ahsoka, Count Dooku, and Liam Neeson's Qui-Gon Jinn that is going to have little animated shorts that this fall that will only tell stories of those like three people, and then they, we will also see Liam Neeson returning as Qui-Gon Jinn. So, Man, Star Wars is a, yeah. a machine right now. Yeah. There's also Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation, which is a Disney, Disney Plus movie, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, don't care about that. Um, a Fast sp- forward, he watches every episode, buys I, the, the toys of the Lego figures. I tried to watch the the Christmas special for the Star Wars thing because, mm-hmm. like, it kind of like went through the era, like it was like a time travel type thing, and it was bad, like bad, bad. Um, but you know, it's not it's not for me. It's for like kids that like Lego, and I'm not part of that sorry anymore <laughs> i like adult toys yeah adult toys follow Whoa, the patreon that sounds like something else yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yikes yeah uh next up star wars uh there is a young jedi adventures show coming to disney plus and disney jr that is going to be set in the high republic era which is prior to all of the movies that's what like a lot of the books that you see at like target and shit are based on it's where, like, the Jedi are very much thriving and, like, doing their own shit and there's no war going on in the background with, um, mm-hmm. like, the Separatists yet. Um, and then I don't know why this matters or why it was shown here, but Indiana Jones 5, first image was revealed at Star Wars Celebration. Harrison Ford showed well, up and Crossover confirmed. That. I mean, Harrison Ford, so. I mean. Yeah, Han Solo and Indy. But, Indy's just going to reveal that he's also Han Solo. True. Um, what else did we get? Apparently there was a trailer for Willow as well. I didn't mm-hmm. know that. Um, Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords release date announced for Nintendo Switch, um, June 8th. And then what else do we got? I think another crazy. book. Uh, Beatbox. I think that's about it. That's about all that happened. There's also a really nice moment between uh, the composer John Williams and uh, Harrison Ford that was very emotional. But other than that, Star Wars Celebration, a lot of cool stuff happening, a lot of cool cosplays, a lot of cool creators there, um, Mm -hmm. and a lot of figures that I need to end up buying, sadly. But here we are. Sadly, huh? Yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to buy a lot of stuff. Like, you know, I just bought a child. I got to provide... (laughs) You don't have to buy a lot of stuff. I don't have to. <laughs> you don't. I don't. But I need to. Anyway. I'm sure you do. What's up next in the news, Ann? What else do we got? Next up. Next up. Uh, where is it at? Whoa. Skipped it for a second. Xbox's Keystone is a cloud gaming streaming stick currently undergoing further iteration at Microsoft. So Xbox is developing a, well, I think this was the natural order. I think they kind of hinted towards this before, Mm -hmm. but now they're kind of doubling down and giving a code name for it. It's pretty much just a stick like a Roku stick or something or a Chromecast that you can plug into your TV and access 
like your game pass and everything like it's a yeah yeah the stream is dick interesting for cloud gaming is they're cloud- also developing tvs that will like a program for tvs certain tvs that'll have it pre-installed oh dope is, is cloud gaming like good now because i remember back when like playstation now first like dropped and was like what it was people mm-hmm. shat on it because like it was very not viable to do I will tell you, I don't know from firsthand experience. I've never done any cloud gaming. Gotcha. Certain people are saying it's fine. So, I mean, I think when um, X Cloud was coming out in beta, there were people like, yeah, it works great. Right. I'm curious to see what that does to the physical game market, just because I don't know, like being a person that loves to have like physical versions of games and like almost. They're almost like collectibles, even though they're really not. Now that they don't give us like anything in the the box anymore, besides just the disc. Yeah. But like, it's just one of those things where I'm like, man, one of these days they're just gonna shut down GameStop, and there's just gonna be like you walk in there and then you just click on a game that you want or like point to it, and they just give you a code, and that's yeah, it. That's it. But yeah. Would you like a Funko Pop with your code? <laughs> Would you like a Funko Pop in a T-shirt? Here <laughs> exactly. you go. And the plushie. And a magazine. Oh, I'm sorry. Just that quick. Magazines don't exist. Never Here's mind. that digital magazine you asked yeah, for. <laughs> Pretty much. You definitely asked for it. But um, Would you yeah. like to pre-order 17 other codes while you're here? Because you know those codes can sell out real fast. Exactly. <laughs> uh, GameStop. God, it's sad because useless. that's actually the way it is. Like, legitimately. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What else do we got in the news? Where, how far did you scroll up? Because I'm, I was not on the Discord. May twenty sixth. Okay. Boop, doop, um, boop, doop, boop, boop, boop. Above that, God of War Ragnarok has been rated by the Korean ratings board. Yeah. But there's been so much God of War Ragnarok shit talked about in the last so many, in the last couple of days that we have to be ridiculously close to another, like maybe a state of play dedicated to it or something coming yeah. at some point. Um, also the rumored, cause I don't want to put this out there. That it's true, but I've seen a couple places say September is the rumored month for that game is coming out. Like release date. Yes. Release. Oh, hmm. because they keep doubling down. Sony Santa Monica keeps doubling down saying it's coming this year. Don't expect a yeah. delay or anything to next year. I'm excited, man. I, there's a part of me that like, I'm hoping that we see something literally next week at Summer Games Fest because I feel like if you, it'd be smart to give it to like at Summer Games Fest, like the the release date, and then in between now and then, do like its own state of play where it's mm-hmm. like here's what we're talking about, blah blah blah, X Y Z element O P, you know. But I don't know. I, I'm just really hopeful to say the least that we get it this year. If we don't, then fuck. Because I just I lost was, Fantasy League. <laughs> I was on... You heard, You remember what I was saying? Like I was like, I would not be surprised if we got pushed. Yeah. But from the way things are coming out, slowly rolling, and the way they're talking, it looks like it's coming. All right. Um, There's even merch that was like put on a store, right. too. Right. On Geeky yeah. Zone in the UK. Everybody's favorite merch store. Geeky Zone. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> But even, but just to roll into the, one of the next stories, um, state of play June 2nd at 3 PM Eastern, which is 6 PM here. Um, nearly 30 minutes of trailers and announcements reveals from third party partners, plus a sneak peek at several games in development for PlayStation VR two. Now we were all in the chat saying, are they going to show some God of war here? And I've been back and forth on it. Nah. If they do, it's going to be a one more thing type thing. And it'll just, it won't be information. It'll just be another look. Yeah. I don't think we will see it at all. I'm, I'm leading to the fact of that too. I don't think it'll be there. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like opposed to seeing it. I just feel like it'd be really weird when you're throwing a bunch of like third party stuff and then PSVR 2, which you're very mm. much trying to hype that up because new it's, it's going to be an expensive piece of machinery. Like, right. there's no reason to toss God of War in there as well. 
Mm-hmm. You want to toss shit in there that makes people focused about this and not distracts them from your next piece of hardware that's coming out, you know? But unless there's, like, a add-on that's, like, God of War 2 VR experience or some shit, but, like... I could kind of see that. I don't... I know they announced the Horizon thing for PSVR 2. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I could see them adding some kind of God of War thing to it. I just don't know if we'll see it here. But weird. that would be a good way to also keep the hype chain rolling for that. True, true, true. But yeah. Besides that, Sony is uh, taking over more than just the video game space with the state of plays and all that. They're also moving into the TV show space with uh, yeah. announcements for some series on Netflix of God of War, Horizon, and Gran Turismo. Um, I think Horizon's going over to Netflix. God of War is on Amazon. And then mm-hmm. Gran Turismo is unannounced of where it's going to be. Maybe it's Tubi. I don't know. but um, <laughs> It's going to just be ESPN, and it's just going to be like the honestly, car, the yeah. NASCAR. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Fuck it. But like it's it's cool to see, and it's also very interesting to see that they're spreading themselves out across streaming, which is very interesting right. too, as opposed to just being like, no, we're a we're a Netflix people, and like just monopolizing their stuff in one spot. It's very mm-hmm. interesting to see, and I'm I'm curious to see what the Horizon show is going to be, right? Of whether or not it's going to focus on Aloy specifically, and like trying to continue the games, or if it's going to be like some sort of prequel type shit. Or maybe even um, with God of War, like when's that going to take place? Or is that going to be yeah. the in-between period of when the first game starts and the last one started from like old consoles? So we get to see Kratos be somewhat happy for a bit. We still got to get... I mean, it's great that all these shows are coming, but we still didn't get um, what, The Last of Us HBO show? No, not yet. Apparently the Halo show was shit, too. Yeah, that's a disappointment. And yeah. Not that I was like super gung-ho but it was it was disappointing to see how bad how no one's interested in how bad that show is i knew that show was gonna fail right before it came out when the actor who was playing master chief came out and said yeah this is gonna be a lot different from the games you know the people just want to see like you know master chief be who master chief is and like they're gonna see me without the helmet on a bunch doing my thing and i'm like (laughs) that's not what halo is to these people and that's like, not what those people want to see. Yeah, like, nobody gives a fuck about you, dude. And apparently, like, it was just, like, a bunch of sex and shit. <laughs> like, apparently, fucking Master oh, shit, Chief was Master fucking. Chief fucking. He was fucking, and then, like, Cortana was, like, watching or some shit, getting cucked. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? Kill that shit, Master Chief. You got it. Well done. Enemy on Flag C. Um, I don't know. <laughs> It's bad. Uh, Said that in the middle of it. <laughs> um, Enemy is capturing command post. But you keep knocking that out the box. <laughs> Who's getting saved now? Knocking it out the box. Patreon title. Right. Anyway, go. Um, but yeah. I thought that a new God of War was gonna get something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I expect the God of War to get a movie. I could see how it can be a show because you have a lot yeah. to draw. But like it seemed like that property was so like dramatic and massive for them that I could I could have saw that being like theatrically released. Yeah. I mean, the way that I look at it is if you're Sony, you're John Sony, you know. Good old John. And you're witnessing what the fuck happened with what's it called? Um uncharted Mm -hmm. and how that kind of sucked ass i rather have like a show that like unpacks it like from like in-depth shit because like if you think about what amazon has right now like they got like the boys Mm -hmm. you know like that is the most visceral violent gory show that i've ever seen pretty much on a streaming service and you want to take the most visceral gory fucking guy from video game franchises from playstation and toss him on there fuck yeah yeah like especially since netflix is just like netflix is just like hey here's blood that's literally what their like stuff is now like it's not like netflix hey here's blood yeah there is some like kind of creepy shit that happens in the most recent stranger things but it's like all cg 
Like I don't. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you have a God of War show, you're gonna do it practically. Like you're gonna like you know get all these like big fucking prosthetics on motherfuckers and shit, mm-hmm. and he's gonna be taking down like giants or demons, and you know you use CG to make them look a little bit cooler, but it'll be like practical effects, and like he'll be like chopping motherfuckers up. You know. Yeah, yeah. and I see like like CLD in here saying there's too much lore to pack it into a two three hour movie. Yeah, but kind of what Yuki is saying. Like I don't for am like. It could work on Amazon, but I would kind of rearrange. Like, I would put God of War on HBO with Last of Us. I would do that, yeah. I wouldn't put it on Amazon. I don't, I don't, I also don't agree with the Netflix having a higher production quality, at least not now. They used to, um, but they've been very much shitting the bed as of late and going downhill with a lot of their stuff. And Amazon's just been going up, surprising. I mean, to be fair, they have millions of dollars and a evil mastermind behind them at over at amazon but um i don't know I've, i feel like the thing that makes me sold on it is the boys because their production quality is better than anything i've seen on netflix i can't sit here and roll through everything i've seen on netflix to, re- yeah. to refute that the boys is just phenomenal and i'm just like yep that's it that's that's the ticket Give the boys me is a great show i could see out of all these i could see horizon on amazon if i had to like put one there or gran turismo because i because like i said in the chat i don't know what that's going to be it's just gonna be driving just it's just gonna be car bullshit. drama yeah and then it's gonna become a fucking fast and the furious franchise and then i'm gonna kill myself because i don't want to see that shit again but that doesn't work with gran turismo that will work with need for speed they're gonna turn gran turismo into need for speed then they're going to ruin it because that's not what the, that's not what Gran Turismo is, and I'm not even like a Gran Turismo guy. No, I feel you. I don't know, man, but yeah, those are the shows that are coming soon. Name me a character from Gran Turismo. BMW. McLaren. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boom. I wish it somebody who works at a, a a BMW like car car dealership, and all these new cars come in all the time. All right. Uh, next up, this isn't in our Discord, but I wanted to talk about it. Uh, the Quarry. Mm-hmm. Um, if you, you remember did. that game, uh, what was it called? Shit, the original game with Rami Malek in it. Fuck. I don't know. Shit. I can't remember the name of the. If you remember, in, in the toss it in the chat. I can't remember what it Driver is. Driver One. It's from uh, Until Dawn. Thank you. Cool. Until Dawn. Um, it is a choice-based kind of movie-type game, more than, like, gameplay-based. Um, the Quarry is the next in that foray. It actually has, uh, I think it's Brenda Song in it, if you remember uh, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Uh, she was London Tipton. Okay. You know that, right? I know the show. Yeah. I can't sit here and tell you I watched any of it. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, man, it, it looks, like, very much similar to those games. Got a very obviously horror aspect to it you're most likely going to have to keep all these characters alive multiple endings multiple different choices that you can do to change up the story change it around went over the whole entire gameplay in an overview trailer and it looks very very good um just looking at like the the visuals of it it's definitely a step up from until dawn so it's a lot of production value very good writing seems yeah like. so yeah I am very excited for this. It's funny because the the comments are very like, so it's just until dawn again. I'm like, why is that bad? Like, <laughs> it's not the same thing, but it's like this is what this company does. Like, would why yeah. why is that a bad thing? Like, until dawn was good. Wouldn't you want more things like that? Personally, like with different characters and different motives, and probably right. a different monster, most likely. If it's a monster, I don't know. But um, yeah. I am uh I'm excited for it. I'm not much of a horror guy, but I like watching those on YouTube and like taking the different tracks because I'm not gonna play it myself. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I like it a lot. I've never played Until Dawn. Neither have I. I watched it all. Like I I didn't have a PlayStation Four at the time when it came out, so mm-hmm. I just I was like, well, I can't play it. Let me watch every single outcome that can exist, and I just watched it like it was almost like a fucking like 36 hour long movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was it was, it was a time. great time. But yeah, uh, what's that? <laughs> did you watch the? You did watch it. That Pal World trailer. Pal whatever? World, man, motherfuck! The fact that we're ending on Pal World for the news—that's I think the last <laughs> thing we got. Pal World. 
That shit is ridiculous. I'm watching it. I'm like, okay. When, but then the guns get brought out. And I'm like, oh, because at first I'm like, all right, it's Pokemon. It's just a Pokemon yeah. like, for PlayStation or whatever this is going to be on. Everything but Nintendo. But then they bring the guns out. Mm -hmm. But it looks like a lot of work went into this game. It looks like a mixture of like Pokemon, Final Fantasy, Fortnite, and then I don't even know what else. Like just an action adventure game at the same, just like a general action adventure game. Right. And they just crammed it all together and then gave it a slightly depressing storyline that's like an undertone with it's some a, of the that, shit. That, thank you. Because the, the trailer, I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, this is bright and happy. Yeah. But I like then slowly but surely they find a way to really like sneak in this dark undertone. I'm like, this was this ended a way that it didn't begin. This, uh -huh. this it, it's completely different by the end of the trailer. It's really weird because like I want it to like understand what it is more than anything else. Um but yeah, like we we posted the the full trailer over in our Discord the in the news. gaming news. If you want to go watch it, channel uh, the scene with all of the like the the sweatshop Pokemon working on AK forty sevens, yeah, is burned into my brain, and I need to play this game. So when the character was jumping off of one of the Pokemon as characters and shooting another Pokemon, I was like, what one of them looks like a giant Totoro. But has a Gatling gun. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this shit? I don't I care. Know. I'm playing it. I'm buying this shit, and we gotta play it. But, yeah, um, definitely. I agree. Th there's. I, when does this come out? Because like, I want to play it. Like, day I don't. Know, I don't remember seeing a, a release date. It might have been there. I just don't remember it. I'm literally scrolling to the end just to maybe. No, there is no release date. Fuck. God damn. <laughs> I That's need to know what this ridiculous. game is. I need to know. <laughs> I hope it's terrible, but I also... What if it's good? It doesn't look like it's bad. Are you sure? Yeah. You think that doesn't look bad? It doesn't look like the game is going to... It looks like... It looks like Pokemon with guns and a dark story. It looks like Pokemon with guns, but it's also... Like you said, kind of Final Fantasy, kind of like, kind of bug snacks with the tone. Like it gets dark where you don't expect okay. it to get dark. Uh, I'm with you there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It, all right. At the very least, it looks interesting to look into it. Yeah. I feel like we need to play this together just because yeah. like me just playing this on a figure Friday stream or you playing it by yourself, I don't think that gets the same amount of like... <laughs> content we definitely <laughs> gotta break it down together yeah. yeah like one of us just needs to hold the sticks and then the other person just needs to be like oh what right. the fuck is happening you just murdered a little mouse pokemon with a gun and now there's and a sweatshop like whimsical guns it was like straight up yeah fucking rifles yeah this ain't fortnite anymore baby mm -hmm. but um i'm I don't want to say I'm looking forward to it, but I'm I can't wait for it to come out. It looks interesting. We're interested. Yes, 100%. But um yeah, so that's the news we got for this week. Like we said there's not much. Um there will be a little bit more obviously next week for the podcast. But um if you want to hear what we our thoughts are on what happens at Summer Games Fest, we're actually going to be streaming uh, it's, is it not this week, but next week, right? No. Nah, this week is the um the play state the state of play though. What day is that on again? I'm sorry. Wednesday. The fifth, twenty fifth, or the first, rather? No, the second. When the Wednesday? You said Wednesday, Wait. so that's Wednesday the first. is the first. Yeah. Oh my bad. Then Thursday. It's okay. June second. June second. So that we'll probably talk about um, for next week's episode, obviously, um, and then the week after that on the ninth, we'll be streaming live here on Twitch, and we'll tell you again next week, obviously, and in the Discord, mm -hmm. and on Twitch, and on Twitter, and on some other place, probably. But um, <laughs> keep on going. Keep on keep it on but um yeah now comes to the point of the show where we normally just take questions for our discord and we answer them whimsically or whatever but um <laughs> since this whimsically. is whimsically you know like the pokemon getting shot but um it's this week we're, we're on patreon this this is a live episode that we're recording right now so if yep. you're an audio amigo and you're confused why we're randomly addressing a non-existent third entity that is chat 
and multiple people in there, which we all appreciate. But um, currently, we got two people that are from the Collectors of Tear that uh, wanted to hop on to the podcast this week. Uh, they're mm-hmm. currently waiting in the grid fam that I can let them in. In the wings. Um, so if anyone else is in here that is from the Collectors Tier that wanted to hop in, I don't know if anyone else wanted to or not. Um, you can definitely hop in. I posted the link in the Discord for the Grid Fam. You do have to link your Twitter just so that you can get onto the uh, thing. Um, so just let us know if you end up hopping on or not. Um, and then let me know which one of you two that are in there currently would like to come on first and what you want to talk about. And we'll sit here and wait patiently for that chat to come because, you know, well, there. How did that happen so immediately? There's like, I thought there was a delay. In this, this is the I've noticed that this episode has the least delay what of the all fuck? time. This is what happens when I restart my PC. But um, all right, we're gonna have CLD in first. I'm gonna bring him in, and then I have to switch the camera so you won't see him for a moment, but you'll hear him most likely. So let me bring him in. <laughs> Except, for, but there. you'll hear. Him well, now I hear me. Man, man, looks dapper out here. Check him <laughs> out. Holy shit! Look at this dapper motherfucker. How you doing? <laughs> Good, good. How you guys doing? Good, you? Not bad. Fantastic, fantastic. You look like yeah. you're about to sell us like taxes. Uh, sell us? No, taxes. no. I'm planning to file taxes later. Hopefully. That, that, yeah, that file those taxes. <laughs> Do if you know, you know. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good, good. Not it's, bad. It's a nice Sunday, you know. Holiday happening tomorrow. That's right. right. But uh, what what would you like to discuss on this week's episode that we're back on the Patreon? All right. So, um, is there a game mechanic in a se- that was changed in a sequel that you would like to see come back in a further game? Mm. Like for me, what I'm thinking is like Anthony will probably remember playing like the first Budokai game for Dragon Ball when that came out on PS2 forever ago. Mm-hmm. And you would have to you would go through your energy bar and power up to the next char- version of the character. Yeah, like there wasn't a character. Was slide. There wasn't a character slide for Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Two Goku. That's bullshit. And so when on that. and so forth. Like you actually had to power up to that level, and you could actually get knocked out back to your base level. Mm-hmm. And so I'm saying, like, I would like to see that brought back personally. Yeah, I that was dope. I forgot. I almost forgot about that. I think the the game that did it the best from the Dragon Ball series, though, was definitely the Raging Blast series. I don't know if you've played them. Those felt so good when you would power up because there'd be like this whole animation and shit that would like get up in your face and you would power up into it. Oh, so good. No, I didn't play the Raging Blast. I've seen it, but I did, didn't actually play those. That one was a side, uh, not side scroller too. It was like all around. You could go anywhere. It was so fun. But I didn't play those either. I heard good things yeah. about them, though. Raging Blast. Brett knows if he's still in the chat. He's the Dragon Ball Z guy here. I'm trying to think of a mechanic. Um, everything from Star Fox 64, and then they just destroyed that series because everything after that, by comparison, was not good. Like I couldn't even pinpoint one. I think, every, I think Star Fox 64 for its time was perfect, and all they had to do was just do it again, and they took out things from the original... And added just gimmicky shit from that point on. Hmm. To me. Especially once they made they gave they made uh Star Fox Adventures, which is just Zelda, but you're playing as Fox. And then <laughs> especially the latest one that was on Wii U, Star Fox Zero, where it pretty much is exactly what you want, but they made it completely motion controlled. Yep. And didn't give you the option to use a controller. You have to use motion controls to play it. Mm-hmm. So I think that might be my answer. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess I'll take this in in the world of Titanfall. Um, in Titanfall Two, when you're playing multiplayer, you have the option to like float around and shit. You know, you have those like little boosters that you could like, you know, fly around and then run on the walls and stuff. Right, right. And that that was like the best first person shooter I've ever played because of the movement in that game. Mm-hmm. And then you have Apex, which comes out, and it's probably the best battle royale, you know, whatever. But the movement is very much like a dumbed-down version of it. 
Like, you don't have the option to, like, boost up or jump and, like, float anymore. You don't have the wall running or anything like that. And I feel like that really, if that was added to the game, or, like, continued to be in the game. Because, like, when you're dropping down, you have these little, like, things on your butt that, like, float you down, like, with rockets or whatever, that, like, brace Mm -hmm. your fall. In theory, that's what they used in Titanfall to do that floating mechanic and give you that movement, but they don't have it for anybody except for one of the characters that recently can like float with a jet pack, but that's her like ability. I feel like everybody should be able to like do like a slight boost up type thing. And you have that little like bar that goes down how much you have every single time. And then you're running on walls and shit because running on walls, I think it was introduced in whatever that call of duty was that everyone hated the one where it was like infinite warfare. Yeah. The multiplayer of that I loved, even though I'm not much of a Call of Duty guy. Like it just mm-hmm. felt so smooth, and you could do things that just felt natural for like the progression of the timeline. Right. And then when they go back to boots on ground, because everyone's like, "Oh, well, boots on ground," and it's just whatever. That they did it the right way in Titanfall Two, and then with Apex, which is technically in the future, I feel like you should still have that. Trust you've been the same universe. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, keep it going and keep that, like, fluidity moving. And, like, I mean, it's not that, not to, like, fault Apex or anything. The movement is still good. But, like, with how good of a movement that you had in Titanfall 2 to then, like, take a step back is kind of weird, in my opinion. I always felt like they could have been doing more to make it feel more smooth. But Titanfall 3, maybe this Summer Games Festival, hopefully. You guys are really holding out hope for this Titanfall 3 thing. Titanfall 3 will come out one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> and we should all rejoice. When it comes out, it's going to be a celebration. We're going to have to buy all the confetti poppers in any <laughs> Walmart in the area. That'll uh, that'll be fun to clean up. Not yeah. it this time. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing the, the picture that Chris for un- inexplicably put in the in the pod last week. I don't know what you're talking about. Betty clean up. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it, it seemed like it would really suck to clean up, but then it seemed like it got cleaned up pretty easily. Well, I mean, it is just paper. I mean, True. It, it was quick enough to clean up, but it was just definitely a hassle, to say the least. It was intimidating before we cleaned it up. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Those images in last week's back. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what? Psh, that was two weeks ago, bro. What? Yeah, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I just missed, saw something. Maybe I have to go back and look and see if it's there or not. Yeah, you just, or not. You don't have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> um. Also, uh, Chris, uh, about last week's podcast, you uploaded it to YouTube, but there's not any descriptive words on it. There's no title. There's no nothing. And I was like, well, I can't make a... What? A, a post out of it. When I went on it recently, sorry. it just said... Hmm? You're breaking up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't hear you. Oh, no, I, hear, I hear you fine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going through a tunnel. I'm sorry. Look, these are our people. These are our Patreon people. I can talk to them about you, you, you know we can, behind the scenes. You know we can see you not in a tunnel, right? Like <laughs> I'm in a tunnel, guys. Sorry. I don't know you what you're know talking about. You <laughs> Editor Chris, <laughs> Frankie said, "Where's Editor Chris when you need him?" I know, right? He got he's got to break me out of this. Yeah, he he might he might be in a tunnel. We have to find him later. Editor Chris is in a tunnel right now. He can't take the phone right now. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, well, you know, hopefully it won't be there next week. <laughs> Listen, I, he just reminded me that I had to ask you something. Shit, <laughs> I got some work to do after this. I see. All right. Well, but yeah, man. We appreciate you coming on, looking as dapper as you do, for right. being a patron as well. Appreciate you oh. very much. Of course, of course. Glad to be on the show. We hope <laughs> you and wish you well for your paperwork filing, and hope that everything gets sorted correctly from their mm-hmm. A to Z's. Thank, Thank you. I I, do, I may have to double check some work, make sure everything is accurate. Dot your yeah, eyes, man. cross important. your T's. You know. Exactly. Exactly. Make sure everything's good. All right. Yeah, man. It's important. <laughs> that, that, that's like A1 importance. Got to dot those I's and cross those T's when it's time for the paperwork. Jeez. Exactly. <laughs> like Chris said, if you know, you know. 
if you know. Yeah, exactly. Join Patreon, motherfuckers. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. Do you want to shout out your social media just so people can follow you and see your posts and all your stuffs that you say about wrestling and Philadelphia sports and stuff like that? On uh, the yeah, all, all my socials is the same. Uh, Cobra Darkness. The E in darkness is the number three. So it's the same across all Instagram, Twitter. I don't have TikTok because that's just too much. It but is. yeah, Instagram and Twitter. That's where, I'm at. that's where I'm at. Hell yeah. Word. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, dog. Later, guys. See you. Hey. All righty. So I'll, I'll switch back to full camera. I don't know what he was talking about with that episode thing last week. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because after he said that in the, I think in Discord, I went on YouTube because I was like, all right, let me grab the screen capture of the title card so I can make the Instagram post. And I was like, there's zero information on the title card. It's just our faces. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Editor Chris <laughs> just, you know, maybe he was really tired that day. and, and Maybe. I'm not even judging it. I don't know. I don't know I what know how happened. It goes. <laughs> There was mornings oh, early shit. on where people would just hit us up like the podcast is not uploaded. And I'm like, ah, shit. Uh, <laughs> so <yeah. I> get <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Well, Frankie said he is ready. So let's hop him on. And then if anyone else from the collector's tier, I know we have at least like two or three of you that are it watching still. So I can see the viewer list. So if you guys want to come on and talk about something, let me know or join the queue from the discord and we'll bring you on. Just put it out there. Mm-hmm. into the universe and now we're bringing from the universe into the 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 call mr frankie hopefully if it works i see darkness okay oh, oh that's the right i put the i accidentally put the theme song back on so now we're we're good we're good <laughs> no nah, you're all good i have oh, you're so on. loud yoshi lives matter <laughs> what yoshi lives matter listen that's one of my fraternity brothers uh, yoshi up, lives dog? matter what the, what, why you see why this? this propaganda that you're spreading is not cool. Listen, it's, it might happen the whole time I'm on this uh, here podcast. So just understand, live with it, love it. Let Loshi, get Yoshi's love into your life, man. The fact that let you this happen. orchestrated this nonsense. What did I our live show? Didn't... What are you talking about? Is disrespectful at the, the very, at the least. Listen, when you. Yoshi lives do matter until mm-hmm. I need to live. If it's between me and Yoshi, Yoshi's not making it. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see about that in the next time you stream. Okay, well, you jump in a, off a cliff with Yoshi, and we'll see how you feel when that happens. I have fucked around and found out about that. As my life motto, especially my D&D character motto is, fuck around and find out. Yeah, I can confirm that. (laughs) So you died with Yoshi or did you let him, did you jump off? Listen, die with the Yoshi, man. I died with the Yoshi. No, you don't fucking, why would you die with Yoshi? This is why I have a shitload of lives. Hmm? And this is also why I have infinite lives. What? Are you cheating? What do you mean you have infinite lives? Listen, in Super Mario World, you know it's very easy. You hit that super secret level above yes, the second donut house. it is very easy. And you just well, hack the shit out of it. If I'm making my way through a stage, and we're not going to stay on this because this is not why we called you onto the show, but, like, if it's between me and the end and I'm right there, he has to die. I can get another Yoshi from the same exact spot you're talking about. Listen, I don't know. Giga, Giga playing Ant. Would just get ninety nine lives and just rock out, but clearly, or or you're I not a giga player. I don't, I don't even use the term giga player. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're trying to say. So I'm just gonna let that mm-hmm. go. But mm-hmm. if I could jump off a of Yoshi, win the stage, and then go get another Yoshi because they just keep repopulating, then why would I not do that? You can tell that to Yoshi's mom, dad, all of Yoshi's children, and all of Yoshi's ancestors. Okay. Man. Fuck Yoshi's mom. Listen, like Yoshi's mom, I'll jump off of her too and go get another Yoshi's mom. Mm. Adrian, if you're listening, it's like, no. <laughs> Fuck Yoshi's mom. Like, what? <laughs> so, what's everybody's favorite Yoshi color? Black. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't blue. I do like the blue ones because you can they fly no matter which shell you eat. Yeah. 
the green one is the versatile one that does it all. Mm. Yeah. It's special. But yes, the blue one because it flies. All right. Even though the red one spitting fireballs is also very fun. You see, yeah. you know, Yoshi can cause chaos. I didn't you know, know that Yoshi that can... was a thing at all. <laughs> Yeah, in Super Mario World, if you get the Red Yoshi, any Koopa shell that Red Yoshi swallows, it spits out fireballs. Hmm. Yeah. That's the fuck around and find out Yoshi. I only know Yoshi from the Yoshi game where Mario's on his back as a little baby boy, and you have to pop the bubble if you get hit, and mm-hmm. the colors are all the same in that. They're just, you know, like transition levels, and then from Island. Smash Brothers. That's it. Well, listen. I mean, listen, you know something. Somewhat. But Frankie, thanks for being on the show today. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for joining us. Um, what is up? We appreciate you, as always, for being a patron in the collector's tier. Um, what would you like to talk about? Um, this actually comes off of a Star Fox stream last week, and you kind of hit, hit it on it earlier, where subsequent Star Fox games kind of sucked, um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. to put it lightly. Um, and it made me wonder if Star Fox is one of those franchises that should have skipped a generation of Nintendo gaming. Like, example, the Metroid franchise. There's no N64 game for Metroid. No. They intentionally skipped it to come out with Metroid Prime on the GameCube, which was great. Was um, what other game franchises do you think could have benefited from skipping a generation? Just saying, you know what? We're not doing this console. We'll do the next one. That's a good question. Um, man, I gotta think about. It. Um, do you have one besides Star Fox? That um, um, the I don't know exactly. Um. Hmm. Because that one is a tough question, even for me. It's a um, real tough question. Because like it is, Come... <sighs> because certain games I could be like they should skip. I, I have I have games that I'll be like it should skip this year, but I don't know about this entire generation because a, a generation could be anywhere from six to ten years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or uh, or even like, um, like the game I'm just streaming, Paper Mario. What if that had come out on the Super Nintendo first instead of RPG, which should have been its spiritual predecessor? That didn't Paper Mario has been on everything since it came out. Yes, but even then, not all of those games are good. So maybe True. Paper Mario could have skipped the generation. True. Um. I'm thinking. What about Pokemon? I think Pokemon needs to stop. <laughs> just stop. But are you talking about just mainline Pokemon, or can they keep coming out with their other like side games and other series? I mean, they can have their side hoes because they're never as good as like the main ones. But like, I feel like the main ones, like you need to, like maybe like one a generation, sure. But like when they go overboard and they're like, oh, here's a bunch more games. They're like, oh, here's another set of DS games. Here's another set of DS games. But now these are 3DS games, but they're the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like the, the games are all the same and I understand what their purpose is to just bring in a new set of, you know, children to the franchise to like get them to like, like Pokemon, like the merchandise and get the cards. But like you're keeping the the other fans too like while you're creating more children fans like your old fans are just playing the same game over and over again like why not make them wait a bit you know Mm -hmm. because like even with the frequency that they've been putting out games i feel like it's just it's too close together that there's not really a generational gap to bring in those new fans if that makes sense like they're kind of just overpopulating the market with how much shit that there is and they do the same thing with like the cards that they release too. Like there's like a new a new set of like X amount, like two hundred or so every couple months. It's like, oh, here's brilliant fucking diamond bull boys or, or some shit like that. And then here's shining bitches. And like it just it just so one much. second. Yep. Yeah. There, there's there's too many, pretty right. much. I would say. <clears> hmm. <throat> he will return. So- yeah, he will. But I understand where 
I understand what he just did because I had to do that almost every episode. Yep. Um, <laughs> with Pokemon, it like, so you would let, like, if you don't get a brand new mainline Pokemon, would you, you'd still let the remakes of the old ones come, right? I feel like those are fine. I feel like they're different than a mainline game. Like, if you're remaking something and it's literally from the ground up, just the same thing, but better graphics or a different style or look like when it comes to the ones that just came out like they're a little bit different i would say Mm -hmm. that's fine with me like because that's i would still consider that like a side hoe like that's one of their side gimmicks like pokemon snap like they're just re-releasing something they've already done as opposed to the ones where they're like here's another new 100 plus pokemon in this next generation one of them is a spatula now like (laughs) you're running out of ideas take some time to think Let's let's reconvene at a later date. You know, Pokemon might be the answer. You're you're muted, Frankie. You're we muted. can't hear you. There we go. Um, yeah. Even in that, um, like the Pokemon Stadium franchise. Yeah. Maybe you sprinkle in a, a game or two for that, and then give us another mainline game. One hundred percent. I'm yeah. starting to feel that the the remakes of older gen games are starting to water down the more for me. Like, I did Brilliant Diamond and. It was fun to play, like with new Switch graphics and all, but that was really it. Yeah, like they're also nothing just really enhanced shit graphics still, which is another thing that's just a that's a side point of like, what the fuck is Pokemon doing? Why does it still look the way it looks? Like, can we please? It's twenty twenty two, or even the Call of Duty franchise. Like, if Call of Duty skipped a good year or two, I think we'd be fine. No, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, things skipping years, Call of Duty sprung to mind when you, at first, and you said a generation. I was like, I don't know. I don't think Call of Duty ever is going to skip a generation. But Call of Duty can definitely skip a year or two. I think that Call of Duty could switch a, or not switch a generation, uh, switch, you know, whatever. Um, (laughs) They could skip a generation, definitely, if they just have their mainline like Warzone type game out, and instead of it mm-hmm. just being only Warzone, if it's like here's Warzone, but there's also the multiplayer online, and then every generation we get like a really well made campaign, like for the next gen or type shit, like right. every five years or so, like because no offense to Call of Duty, but their storylines are kind of weak as of this point. There's only so much shooty shooty bang bang that you can do before it's just boring. War. Yeah, like it doesn't get every storyline. Yeah, there's only so many war stories that you can tell before you've told it before, and I don't care considering the fact that they're now releasing Modern Warfare Two, which is a remake of the old Modern Warfare Two, but different. So like, take a break. Right, that's kind of the point. Um, I like, I think Star Fox actually could have skipped GameCube. Or even the Wii yeah. with the whole motion detector Star bullshit. Star Fox and- just could have skipped Wii U. They yeah, already they're... didn't put much on that system that they didn't port to Switch immediately. So they didn't need to do that. And I think they got so caught up. Well, this is a whole other point, but I think Wii U got caught up in trying to capture the success of the Wii. So they came out with a Wii U and like triple and quadruple down on motion controls. Mm-hmm. So everything had to have a gimmick that came out with it. So they ruined previous um ip by just trying to shoehorn gimmicks into the games that didn't need it exactly they should have just skipped wii u they should have just went <laughs> wii and then took off 10 years and came out with switch yeah just yeah. give us a good a fire switch game they like had that. 3ds and ds to hold it down it was that was killing it i miss yeah. the ds i miss handheld gaming from nintendo where it was like not like an expensive ass console like this like this is a console itself like i couldn't take my mm-hmm. fucking ds and just be like oh yeah plug it into the tv you know like, i can't do that shit but switch isn't that much more than um 3ds was when it came out yeah 3ds was bad though in my opinion i think the 3d function was stupid no, i just i i didn't even i, just I never turned it off <laughs> that's why yeah, right. i i bought the 2ds well i didn't i was a gift but like i got that because i was like the the 3d gimmick is stupid and then i got the 2ds and i'm like this is fine <laughs> this will work this is okay this it's a rectangle that right. i can't fold but um you know what certain fighting games like i know um street fighter 6 just got announced but i don't think 
like if we went through the entire P- no PS4 was a long ass generation, but like if you think of um all the fighting conferences and stuff, those that keeps those games alive. Like I don't even think you would need a Mortal Kombat or a Street Fighter every generation mm-hmm. with as much as they add with DLC and like I said, the fighting conferences. Like those games could float just based on that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Hundred yeah. percent. The only other thing that would supplement that that would be dope if it was still around was like arcades everywhere because you definitely then wouldn't need one every single generation. True. I miss arcades. Now it's just fucking what's it called? Uh, Dave and Busters. Busters. Dave and Busters. <laughs> yeah. Where you play bigger versions of mobile games. Yeah. You want to play Fruit <laughs> Ninja on the screen with boogers on it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, Sprinkle in a time crisis there, too. Time exactly. Crisis That's too, all baby. you got to do. That's all you need in this life is time crisis, too. But we appreciate you for coming on, Frankie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Definitely. Thank y'all for having me. Yes, very yeah, much. Of course. And uh, if people want to find you or watch any of your streams going forward, where should they go? Yeah. Absolutely. So all of my socials are the same thing, quite frankly. Well, right up there. Yeah. The I and quite is the number one. Um, Twitch TV slash quite frankly. Again, um, we're going through Paper Mario right now. We just did the prologue last Wednesday. This Wednesday coming up, we're going to go through chapter one. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a fun time featuring the Teenage Mutant Ninja Koopas. Hey. Uh, so um, definitely check me out on all the socials here and check out the Twitch. Hell yeah. It, it's going to be a fun time come through Wednesday, 630. Yeah, yeah. Nice. My man got a time. I, even, I just be on there like, I guess I'm doing nothing. I'm going to play on Twitch. <laughs> That's how I do it. It's 11 Listen, o'clock it was, at night. <laughs> it was a perfectly negotiated time between the missus and I. I was like, all right, bet. We're doing it. Negotiations. I, I, yes. I, res- I respect that. If I'd be like, hey, at this night, at this time, I got to be on Twitch. So she'd be like, no. And if I don't need you to be on Twitch, you won't. And I'll be like, yes, man. <laughs> I won't. That's the way it works, man. <laughs> happy wife, happy Negotiations. life. True. I Very much so. Well, we appreciate you. Have a great Thank night. Thank you for having me. Have yes, a good night. Sir. Have a good night, Peace. guys. And tell your friends, Gita and shit, whatever they, you yeah, know. Yeah, Yoshi Lives Matter, damn it. Yeah. Sign off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> see ya. All right. Well, that was, that was, I, I don't see anybody else from the Discord hop again. So I don't think we have any more patron people. Um, But we'd like to shout out those Patreon people because we remembered. We did. It took them being on live for us to remember. But I mean, we got to remember somehow. We also got over on Patreon. We got the NGP Anomaly Uniguff. We got Ryan. We got John. We got Javaraf. And we got Yuki. I think that's everybody, right? And then both CLD and Frankie, who were just yes. on. So thank you guys very much for being patrons. If you'd like to be a patron, you go to patreon.com forward slash save letter be number four quitting. Do it. And you can check out the different tiers and see what you like. Definitely check out the Patreon episodes. Even if you do the $5 tier, you get two extra episodes a month, and they are wild, to say the least. We get into oh, shit that probably... Least, all right. It is definitely the least. The least. Um, but, yeah, this this has been an episode. It's been a fun one. Um, obviously, was. next week, we're going to have a little bit more news coming at you after that state of play later this week, which I don't think we'll stream for it. Probably not. Because you'll most likely be busy, and I'll be like getting home like right as it's ending or Wednesday, starting. Six p.m. Maybe. I don't. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll figure we'll it out. out. Maybe we'll yeah. be live, but don't count on it. But we do will we be live. Horn, do we shoehorn the news from that last minute on Wednesday into the show? Nah. Or do you want to hold that till the next episode? Next episode, because then right. what if nothing happens? Except I mean, for that, can't, you know, nothing can't happen. But like, what if nothing happens? You know what I mean? Like, no, like that's the only thing that happens, and then everything is silent until Summer Games Fest. Then what happens? Then we have nothing yeah. to talk about on next week's pod. You're right. Okay, you that know? works. Planning behind the scenes <laughs> and curtain. But we appreciate all you guys in the chat for hanging out with us. Um, it's been a fun time. Uh, Word. Yeah, I have to go watch wrestling. Um, double I have or nothing. To go pee. So that's important. Two very different things. But um, but very important regardless. <laughs> both very important. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> but um, we will see you guys over on our Twitch later this week. Um, mm-hmm. Ant will most likely maybe take a stream this week to play 
yet another retro game or maybe a new game. I don't know. You're, I'll play something. You'll I'll play, play something. something. And then I'll, I'll be on Friday. Big figure Friday this week, to say the least. Um, three sideshow figures being unboxed. So come oh, watch that. It's going to be literally, mathematically, about almost $800 worth of figures. Damn! And there's only three of them. That's the crazy part. Big balling ass Chris. Well, here's the thing. I'm not because I've done monthly payments. Like, I, <laughs> I have literally financed these. And then the one that fucked me last one was like, oh, yeah, shit. But, when you sent me that, I was like, ah, hurt piece right there. Yeah, that one hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. But we'll, we'll, we'll recover. We'll recover on our feet. And when we do mm-hmm. do that, you can make sure to follow us over on our social media. Say the letter B, number four, quitting. Over on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Titty. Titty. T-I-T-T-Y, titty. titty. Yes. Check out the merch that Ant is wearing and more options over at saybeforequittingfullyspelledout.com. And our Twitch schedule's over there, too. Mm-hmm. Um, email us if you'd like, say before quitting fully spelled out at gmail.com and then Patreon as well. Always Patreon. Join the Patreon if you're a Patreon, if you'd like to give us some money. And then sub on Twitch. You get emotes of Yita and jeans. Yep, and that's what everybody wants. That's it. Both look me in the face and ridicule me. Hey, man. There's nothing really that I could have done for myself to ridicule me, so I had to do those two. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just you, if I could bring back a very, very old thing, drop kicking a child in Target. <laughs> uh, if you were there, you were there. But if you weren't, that's awkward. <laughs> if you weren't, we will not revisit. <laughs> yeah, we're not revisiting that one. But uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys. Um, you know, thank you for being here. And remember to always save, save before, before quitting. quitting theme song.